Hey everyone, this video is going to walk you through using the Over app for iPhone specifically to make Merch by Amazon images. Now if you don't have the Over app, simply go to the App Store, put in keyword Over. This is going to be the first result that you see, this nice bright yellow icon. And once you have it downloaded, of course, you can open it and get to work. Now there are three main reasons why Over works great for Merch by Amazon. First, the dimensions. It lets us work with images that are 4,500 by 5,400, which is the specific dimensions that you need to upload a shirt to Merch by Amazon. Second, it allows you to export PNG files, so it's not just downloading JPEG files. It actually allows you to export as PNG. And third, it lets you import your own images as well as your own fonts. So if you're worried about trademark or copyright or licensing issues by using the included images and fonts or any images or fonts you have rights to or you want to purchase rights to, you can import them into the Over app. And you can make images quickly and easily right on your phone anywhere that you are. So you see I have a few test images here. We're going to start from scratch pressing the big plus button up here at the top. You see it brings in your photos. It has some templates that you can use. And down here at the bottom, it has blank canvas. Now it gives you a lot of options like YouTube and Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook. That's gonna be pre-formatted the right dimensions for those platforms, but we're not really interested in those. We want a blank canvas that we can change the dimensions specifically. I mean, they don't have merch by Amazon in here. It's way too specific. So choose this first one as a blank canvas. And it gives you different options here for backgrounds, a one to two ratio. What you need to do is go up to the top here where it says 1024 by 2048. You touch that and you're gonna be able to change the dimensions to whatever you want. So let's put in our width of 4,500, 4,500. Oh, it's restricting it because of the bottom. All right, so let's do the bottom one first. 5,400, right? And it changes the width at the top to 27. It's kind of locking it in. Well, this button right here, constrain proportions, take that off and you're not going to have that problem. You can set the width, 4,500, and the height, 5,400, and you're done, right? So that's number one reason why this works great for Merch by Amazon. Now you can bring in images and text, and you can draw. You can do anything you want in here. So let's add some text. Let's call this uh, sample shirt because we got to call it something, right? Okay, sample shirt. Okay, now we can change the font. We can change... Uh, let's find something. Let's do that one there. Uh, let's change the style. Okay, so you got the alignment. You got the spacing. So if you want to space out the uh, the letters, uh, of course you got capitals. You can do capitals and small capitals. Uh, curve is one that I think a lot of people are going to use a lot because you can just add a simple little curve to it, kind of move it up to the top. That yellow line represents that it's centered. Uh, so we can change the color. So let's find maybe a brighter color. Um, let's see if we can change the size. So we want to make it a little bigger. We can put a little bit of a, uh, a shadow on there and we can blur it and change the opacity. You can rotate, you can nudge, which is cool. So you can be very specific with, with where these things uh, end up. Uh, you can mask, you can blend. You can do all kinds of things uh, in here. So let's stay with that. And uh, then let's add an image. Uh, now this is where they give you a lot of, uh, of images. Of course, this is just my camera roll. You can have your favorites. You can have, uh, these are their images, splat or unsplash. Uh, you can research and use uh, Pixabay but I do not know the rules about using Pixabay for commercial rights. All right, so, so proceed with caution. Of course, you can search Google Images, and just because it's on Google Images does not mean you have the rights to use it. Uh, so consider that. Here's the trick, guys. They kind of make it hard to find, but when you're just here on your, on your photos and you pull down a little bit, it says all photos, camera, and more. And if you press more, look what you find. You find your iCloud Drive. All right, so if you upload, this is where you upload your images, okay? So this was reason number three that I mentioned earlier, or, or half of reason number three, um, uploading fonts and uploading images. This is the images, all right? So if I uploaded this folder here with all these borders uh, that I've had made, I can bring in this border, okay? I can keep it nice and centered. Maybe I put it up here. I don't know. I mean, this is a sample shirt. This isn't, this isn't for real. Um, so you can upload any images that you have rights to, uh, to your iCloud drive, and then you can access them through the Over app. 
very, very easily. Okay, so we're going to say uh, done, and uh, and that's really it. Okay, so up here at the top right corner, and, uh, yeah, let, let's look at the layers. Okay, so we do have layers. Check this out. You can move these around. You can duplicate them or lock them. I mean, this is incredible. You can do this here on the phone. Now, these aren't overlapping, so it's not, not going to affect anything. Um, you can do all kinds of stuff, all the artwork that they put in here. And I don't know about commercial rights on these. Um, but yeah, there's just so much to it. So this, once we save it up here at the top, um, again, they make it's just a little tip that you need uh, because it says save image right here. Now, if you save image, it's going to save it as a JPEG uh, in your uh, your iPhone photos. But if you scroll over, there we have it, save PNG. All right, so if you save that as a PNG, it's going to save it to your photos to where you can then email to yourself. Or if you know a few tricks with the uh, the mobile browsers, you can upload it straight from uh, straight from your phone. Okay. Now, I promise you three tricks, right? So first reason, the right dimensions. Second reason, export as PNG. I showed you half the third one where you can find your iCloud drive to import your images. But what about the fonts, right? How do you get the fonts in here? Well, there's another trick for that. I'm going to show you that. You email them to yourself. So if you buy a font package and email it to yourself, then you can open it in your email. So you see right here. So it's a zip file. Now, if you don't see this done and, uh, and open or share at the top, just tap, tap on your screen. You may see it look like this, and you're like, well, shoot, now what do I do? What, what do I do with this? Tap it, and you say you want to open it. And again, here's the trick. It's just one little step. They make it just a little bit harder to do. You have to slide over, slide over, and right there, copy to over. That's going to bring all of those fonts that you have purchased and have licensed rights to into over so that you can use them without without any hesitation about think worrying about oh do i have rights to this is there going to be any trouble you can bring all your fonts into over uh that's really it guys and then you can as i say email these files to yourself to uh upload there's a few tricks for mobile to get it uploaded it's not a guaranteed thing so i, I don't want to add that to this video but this is how you can create images with the over app quickly and easily and they look great i would not imagine going to, to photoshop to make this when i can crank it out um, on the phone and, and get a great looking PNG in the right dimensions. So I really hope this video helps you guys. If you have questions on it, please let me know if there's anything I can do to, uh, to improve it and make it better. Uh, but guys, this is the, this is my go-to app for making merch by Amazon designs. It's called over. It's completely free. You can find it in the app store, search for keyword over.